Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be installing the Cobra Pad from OWArmor.com onto the One Wheel Plus XR. And hang around till the end of the video, I got something to give away to you guys. So let's get started on this. Here's what you get in the package. You get a, a little printout with a little thank you letter from uh, Jeremy at OW Armor. Talks a little bit about himself and how he got to where he is with the company and the products. You get a reflective Cobra pad, well, it just says Cobra sticker. It's pretty neat. And you get a OW Armor reflective silver sticker as well. To get the hardware you're going to need and a wrench, and you have the plate itself. So after having ridden the One Tail Plus and feeling how nice it is to have a concave foot pad in the back, as soon as I saw the Cobra pad naturally, uh, I knew I was going to get it. I haven't been using the One Tail Plus lately because it's not compatible with the flight fenders and the flight fins. And as you guys can see, I love the flight fins products. They're great. They add an element of aggressive look as well as aggressive functionality. They enable you to use your one wheel in ways that you normally wouldn't be able to. So enter the Cobra Pad. This was designed with the flight fenders in mind, so they are completely compatible with this. I'm ex super excited to get it on, but I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about it uh, and how durable it is, my first impressions of this. So let's take a look at the bottom. So as you can see here, it is very, very strong. It's very thick. It has vicious grip tape on it, and this stuff, man, if you haven't used this before, you would not want to run your arm across this. It'll take the skin right off. There's a lot of mixed feelings about the vicious tape out there. A lot of people say it's entirely too grippy and you can't reposition your foot once it's on it, or not easily anyways. Uh, a lot of people love it and they feel, they love that locked in feel. Uh, I myself have never used the Vicious Tape, so once we get this installed and I take a quick little spin around here, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. All right, let's get this installed. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do is remove the Let's move the flight fender. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of dirt. Okay, now that we have the flight fender off, we're just gonna set that to the side, flip the one wheel over. You guys see me looking around and over my back it's because there was this crazy guy who was just here a few minutes ago asking all kinds of questions who you here with what are you doing it's like you don't need to worry about that buddy i don't know where he went okay hardware is out of the way Where are you going? Sure stance pad done. Set that to the side. Now we will. Okay. Got it. So I knew this was going to be pretty dirty. So I brought some paper towels. I'm going to use them all right this second, but use a couple. And I got some water. All right, I'm just gonna wipe this down really quick, clean it up a little bit before we go and cover it back up. 
as well take advantage of the fact that I got it open up. Alright, there's a couple more. Dry this off. Okay guys, uh, yeah. So, where is the hardware? Hardware is right here. Okay. Clean up after ourselves. We do not leave trash. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in these front two. I'm gonna screw them in all the way, but not tight, just yet. Flip it over. Okay, so now the back is in. I'm gonna flip it over again. This time, I'm gonna take these two front ones out. Get the uh, fender, put it on. Just kind of get it set up in place. If you have the flight fenders, then you will use the same hardware, all four, that you used on the flight fenders. And the only thing that you will use from the Cobra Grip is the two that go underneath, the two long ones that come with it. So now I'm going to cinch this down, but not too tight. Again, we're not trying to strip anything out. Okay, flip this over. We're going to tighten the uh, back the rest of the way. Okay, guys, flip this over. The Cobra Grip is installed. So there it is looks awesome. It is missing something though. Let's go ahead and put that uh, red Cobra sticker in. I'm just going to try and see if I can use the sure stance foot pad just to hold this like that. Okay, line this thing up real quick and then I'll show you guys. Okay, we're going to put this back on. So I'll show you that, nice. So there it is, the Cobra pad. So I said in the beginning that I was gonna have something for you guys at the end. And for those of you who stuck around, I am going to be giving away my very gently used One Tail Plus. Again, I love this thing, it's amazing. It just feels very, very comfortable. It adds a little length to the board and it has a really nice concave uh, feel to it. It's a great, great piece. However, doesn't work with the flight fenders and I like the flight fenders a lot uh, and the flight fins. So I don't use this, so I wanna give it to you guys. So what you're gonna get is the one tail. And in addition to the gently used one tail, you can see here that the craft and ride grip tape has come up a little bit in between where the letters are. So I'm not including all of these, but I'm going to give you a full piece of the vicious grip tape that is enough to re-grip this entire pad with the vicious tape. So you're gonna get the one tail plus and a piece of vicious grip tape all you have to do for a chance to win this is subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below letting me know that you want to win this. So subscribe, leave a comment below saying that you want the One Tail Plus, and on Halloween, October 31st, I will do a random drawing from all of the comments, verify that you subscribe, and you'll win. So good luck, guys. Uh, and I hope somebody enjoys the One Tail Plus. Okay, let's go check out the Cobra Grip so I can tell you guys how it rides in comparison to the One Tail Plus and the Sure Stance. All right, let's go.
my first impression of the Cobra pad. It's awesome. I do like it. It definitely lives up to all the hype. Uh, for me, it's a no-brainer because it enables me to continue to use the flight fins. So that in itself right there is enough for me. However, it adds so much more. It gives you that concave feel of all the rest, which is so much more comfortable for your foot. In addition to giving you so much more control over your board and the ability to carve, like, I love it. So Jeremy, great job on the Cobra Grip. It is a badass product. Guys, if you're on the fence with it, I recommend you get one. And yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in a minute. All right, let's wrap this up with some quick final thoughts on the first impressions on the Cobra Grip. I love it. I think it's great. It's got just the right amount of concave. As you can see, it's compatible, actually designed around the flight fenders and the flight fins, so no problem there. Uh, it's super durable. The thing's built like a tank from what I can tell. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the Vicious Grip tape yet. I'll let you guys know that after I've ridden it for a little bit longer. So I'll just end by saying that in my opinion, the Cobra Grip is a win. If you guys were considering getting one, I recommend it. Do it. Get it. And if you have flight fins or you're going to get flight fins, then it's a no-brainer.